enthusiastic introduction nick here with a hot fresh steamy stinking vid for you this time a design that i sort of helped figure out i'm calling this the umma 3 unofficial name this is basically a three inch version of the umma 85 umma 95 framework basically taking the the gopro section and putting it on a three inch quad the main bullet points to know about this beauty are it's about 155 grams all up weight six minutes of cruising cinematic flight can also do acro it'll go for maybe three minutes if you're pushing it uh doing some acro maneuvers it's definitely not built for doing acro but it can and it's just a little larger footprint than the uma 85 build and probably the same footprint as the uma 95 build but you're getting the flight characteristics of an open prop three inch quad better performance better flight times so i'm really really excited to share this build with you guys so let's jump into it so getting into the build here um i'm calling this a work in progress because i'm not someone who owns a 3d printer i can do a little basic computer design work but because i don't own a 3d printer i'm working with things that other folks have designed and i want to put a call out to anyone if you see this and you really like this design and you want to help out i'll mention certain things that probably could use some improving if someone has the design skills to do that and we can sort of make this thing better together so i'm going to just quickly go through all the things i did to put this thing together because for those of you who know how to make the uma 85 or 95 or people with general naked gopro knowledge i'm not going to go through all those details i have a video up here on how to build one of those quads that'll get you most of the way here but i'm just going to go over the specifics that make this quad unique first thing i'll mention is i took the top plate from the UMA 95, UMA 85, and just extended it to fit this frame. Nick from the future here, one thing I forgot to mention is you can download the file to get the carbon top plate cut. File is in the description below, and there's also information on where you can get that carbon piece cut. Very cheap, international shipping, very easy. It's a beta FPV frame. Um, and the nice thing about this frame is it comes with um, mounting points that are outside of the flight controllers. I really, really love this frame, but one sort of annoying thing about it is the two outside mounting points uh, on the sides line up perfectly with this landing gear, but the front mounting point is, is not. So you can see that screw comes in at an angle. Um, so it's not the perfect frame. And then there is not, in fact, a, a secondary rear uh, mounting point. I'm actually using the one that goes through the flight controller, which is not ideal, but I basically just sort of poked a hole through this landing gear on, in the back here to make it happen. So in addition to this custom carbon top plate, I'm using the standard GoPro mount and defilter mount of the UMA 8595 series. These are the dampeners from the UMA 95. This is the... Uh, VTX cover from the OMA 85. I trimmed it a little bit with the front and the back to give the VTX some room to cool. And this is the landing gear from the UMA 95. So I just put some uh, standoffs. The frame has those extra little mounting points on the side. And that's basically it. I'll put a link to these standoffs in the description. I really like using metal hardware for all my builds. Part of the reason I say this is a work in progress is because um, if I had a 3D printer, I and more design skills, I would be able to design a camera mount with more of a camera angle. So as you can see, I actually managed to get the uh, old UMA 85-95 camera, GoPro camera mount at a higher angle. Basically, I just used wire cutters and clipped the bottom of, the, of this and put them at an angle, but it's not a clean job. So if anyone has the skills, to design like a 30 degree or a 25 degree camera mount that would be amazing and then we have rc power 1204 5000 kv motors these motors have great power and efficiency if you're wanting more of a full-on acrobatic quad um, with this sort of naked gopro setup i imagine using like some 1404s with maybe a 550 or 650 3s could probably do the trick um but at at that point, you know, you're going faster, you're heavier, your durability is gonna go down. You might just consider a five inch at that point, but if anyone wants to experiment and try that out, that might be a nice option. This is the Gemfan 3018 or 3016 tri-blades. But the coolest thing about this quad is its flight characteristics, as I mentioned in the intro, and I'll show some clips here. 
it flies so well. It can even do a little acro. It doesn't have the prop wash of a whoop. Compared to a traditional three inch Cine whoop that are like 500 plus grams, this thing is just incredible. Of course, you're sacrificing some durability, but I have had some pretty hard crashes with this and everything's been okay so far. I had a crash on concrete directly just like this. Boom, right on the GoPro and it survived somehow. Certainly these this is not as, as durable as a normal three inch cinema whoop. However, it flies so much better. It's lighter, it's quieter. And if you want, and if you want to put prop guards on it, I took these prop guards, I'll, I'll link these down in the description. And you can, if you just trim, trim them like this, you can have prop guards. Uh, you can't fit full prop guards on this thing because they the frame is just a little too small. The, the prop guards will bump into each other. Um, however, there's tons of prop guards online that where you can find that are kind of like the partial ones. For anyone out there who digs this design, who digs the flight characteristics and who wants to build one, I highly recommend it. And for anyone who can help modify this camera mount to make a legitimate, you know, 25 or 30 degree mount without me doing a janky uh, design on it, that would be amazing. And just so you can see, I'll pop this thing on the scale here. So 117 grams, and then I'm flying it with a 3S 450. Again, I'm getting five to six minutes of cruising flying. 158 grams, and I highly recommend use these batteries. Don't use the Beta FPV 450s, they suck. I'll put all the links to all these parts down in the description and a link to the build video for the OMA 85 that explains most of the GoPro stuff. But um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Check out some more flight footage and let's keep this DIY project going. Thanks.